This is going to be a very short but important lecture on the difference between correlation and causation. Now, correlation means that one variable causes something to happen in another variable. To say that two things are correlated is to say that they share some kind of relationship. In order for you to imply causation, in order to say one thing causes another thing, a true experiment must be performed where subjects are randomly assigned to different conditions. So here's an example of a true experiment. Researchers want to test a new anti-anxiety medication where they split participants into three conditions, 0, 50, or 100 milligrams. They then ask them to rate their anxiety on a scale of 1 to 10. Are there any differences between the three conditions using alpha 0.05? Now this is a true experiment because the subjects were randomly assigned to three conditions where the independent variable dosage was manipulated. So the only thing that should be different between these three conditions is the dosage. That way if we find out that the groups are in any way different, the only reason they would be different is because of the dosage. We can imply that the dosage caused them to be different because we performed a true experiment. Whereas here in correlational research, we have two variables. We have the time someone spent studying and the score they got on the first test of their class. Now we could say that there is some kind of relationship between these two values. Like for example, it seems like people who studied more did better on the test, but you can't imply that studying more causes people to do better on the test. I mean, maybe some people did better just because they're naturally better than math. There are hundreds of different reasons why they might have done better. We can't isolate just minutes spent studying. So there's no way for us to imply that the time spent studying causes better scores. We can only say that they're related because we did not perform a true experiment.